Hello, folks. Live deliciously. Do you want to live deliciously? Thou wants to live delicious. This is known as the voodoo hat. Oh, it's the skull. Got skulls everywhere. Even on the back. About the whole hat, you see skulls. Lots of them. This is considered a, called a voodoo top hat. Yes, it is I, Paul Andrew Anderson. Two S's. Har. I'd. H A R R. Har. Or you could say H A E is a is a diphthong. R R E I D. It's pronounced Har. I'd. Ann O'Kelly is a personal friend of mine. She's great. She's awesome. She does the she does the video productions of these videos. And I'm it. I'm just the hypocrite, the hypocrite in the in the hypocritical videos. Hypocrite means actor in Greek. It has no connotation in Christ, Christian connotation to it whatsoever. Well, until Christianity came along and screwed it up. Christians decided to use the word hypocrite as a bad word for people. Well, the Greeks don't feel that way about it. The ancient Greeks used the word hypocrite and were proud of it. They would act inside of hippodromes, what we call today theater. But back then, the word hippodrome was the place where the hypocrites, hypocrites, how you want to pronounce it, did their performances and their plays. I call this the sinister sister hat. Make sure you do the voodoo that you do so well. <laughs> That's Hedley, not Hetty. Hedy Lamar. No, it's Hedley. <laughs> Make sure you do the hoodoo, the voodoo, that hoodoo. Who do voodoo that you do so well? Yep, this is the voodoo hat. Haitian voodoo hat. Voodoo has a long history in Africa. Then it went to Haiti when the stupid, evil Spaniards brought the people into slavery into that island called Haiti. Slavery is effing evil. Anyone who promotes, supports, and does slavery should be eradicated from the earth. Yes, it is I. <laughs> Voodoo har eyed. Voodoo Anderson har eyed. Anyways, the Voodoo hat. The Hoodoo hat. The hat of, of uh, voodooism, Haitian hat. It's also a Haitian hat. The hat of Haiti. Haiti hat. I like Haiti. I'd love to visit there. I'd go to Louisiana too, because Louisiana is known for voodoo, and so is Haiti. You ever been to any voodoo rituals? I have. Pretty interesting. When I was in Tucson, I met some people that were from Haiti and Louisiana that were steeped in voodooism. The practice of voodooism and voodoo. Very interesting. I even got to try, even got to try to eat voodoo smoked chicken. What that means is the chicken was sacrificed in voodoo rituals, but later on also eaten by its adherents and followers. I got a chance to dance in a voodoo performance. I liked it. It was fun. It was interesting. 
Anyways, the voodoo hat. The Haitian hat. The magical hat of voodoo. It's a comfortable hat. It's pretty, it's not the, it doesn't really fit very good, but it's alright. It's a pretty good, decent hat, I think. Anyways, uh, it's an interesting hat because it's got history in, in Haiti, Louisiana, and all the way back to the dark, no, I wouldn't say that, back to Central Africa. Back then it was considered really the, kind of a negative connotation because the freaking Europeans were evil in what they did in Africa. You want to see racism? Take the course on African history. White Europeans that were the most evil people ever in existence and what they did in Africa. What they did was beyond Nazism. Hitler would probably be smiling at what they did. You know the Germans went into Africa and slaughtered villages of people. A whole village entirely wiped out because these stupid Germans and the Dutch were just as bad too. Boy, the Dutch were infamously bad. Now you can see why voodoo got started. Voodoo was a reaction to the European colonialism in Africa. Now, of course, it does predate Europe, and it does predate Christianity. That's true. But it was also used as a political reaction against colonialism, white su European supremacy, white domination in Africa, which is horribly evil. Thank goodness for Mandela. Mandela said of presidents that, hey, we are free people, and we're going to live free. Darn right. Support Voodoo, Voodoo 2020. Voodooism is alive and well in the 21st century in Haiti, Louisiana, different parts, Florida. Yeah, there's Voodooism in Florida. There's Voodooism in uh, different parts of Louisiana. Yeah, New Orleans is known to be a lot of voodoo. And also there's a thing called hoodooism. Hoodoo. It's another form of... Uh, well, it's different than voodooism. You want to look? You want to know what it is? Look it up. It's on the internet. This is also known as the hoodoo hat. Yes, even hoodoo worshippers wear this hat. So, if you want to know what voodoo and hoodoo is, well, my suggestion is look it up on the internet. The internet is a bastion of all kinds of information, and also misinformation. And so it's not very accurate either. But you think this life is like a it's like a it's like a cup of salt, salt water. It doesn't taste good, but you just but you have to put up with it. Everything has you know not maybe that's salt water, that's not the right word. Everything's like a is like a piece of salt. It adds flavor to it, but sometimes it can taste funny. Anyways. I call this the voodoo hat. Yes. Remember, folks, if you need any voodoo rituals done or hoodoo rituals done, this hat is definitely used a lot in the performances of hoodooism and voodooism in Haiti, Louisiana, Florida, any place where voodoo is still practiced and prevalent. This hat is used. Papa Neg Legba. Papa Negba. Is it Papa Negba or Papa Legba? Yeah, hey, I think it's Papa Legba. He wore this hat. He had a hat exactly like this. Papa Legba did. You could conjure Papa Legba in Voodooism. I think I'm saying I hope I'm saying his name right. Interesting chap. Yeah, the thing is, you gotta be careful because he he likes sacrifices. It could be animal, sometimes it, it insect. It has to be some living being. No, voodooism is not evil. 
No, hoodooism is not evil. It's just a, it's an interesting form of worship. And yes, hoodooism does have Catholic Catholic as uh, as embraced Catholicism in Haiti. Hoodooism it does have Catholic elements to it. I don't think hoodooism does, but Catholicism does. It, Haiti does, and Louisiana, the French Catholics. Uh, are involved in voodoo. People think that's crazy, but they don't think so. Anyways. Remember, folks, have a do the voodoo that you do so well. And don't forget to do the hoodoo that you do so well. With voodoo, anything can happen. Alright, thank you.